Alrighty, alrighty, folks, it is Diecast. Buffet here again. We finally have a new package here in the studio. Holy cow, I am freaking excited. We have 2021 Diecast finally here in the studio. I've been waiting since the year of the flood for these freaking Diecasts. Here it is May, and we're already getting our first 2021 Diecast. I am so freaking hyped. So, before we get this uh, package open, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And let's go ahead and hop to it. So let's go ahead and uh, just go and cut the box here. And uh, how y'all doing, fellas? Y'all having a jolly good time out there? You're enjoying some nice weather, I hope. Uh, things are getting warmer across the country, which is always nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the heck is in this freaking box here. And uh, holy freaking cow, what is all this? Oh, dude, check this out. This is really cool. So, uh, Circle B Diecast sent me this. This is really cool. Uh, Leaders on the Track. Oh, my goodness. If I could name half of these, that'd be pretty good. Of course, that's, uh, oh, God, it's Kyle Petty, Dare Waltrip. Uh, I think that's Ricky Run, the five, Rusty Wallace, Ernie, you know, uh, Ernie Irvin or Sterling Marlin. I'm not sure who's in that one. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we got most of them there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, let's go and hop to it. Alrighty, so we got the box opened here. Uh, let's go and get these uh, packing peanuts out of the freaking way. And it's really cool that Circle B Diecast actually sent me that. But here we go, fellas. Time for the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of this unboxing. I mean, they got this thing taped up pretty darn good. So uh, let's go ahead and remove the protective panel here. And um, let's go and hop to it, folks. First diecast out of the box, and the first time we're holding a 2021 diecast in studio. And my goodness, it is Kevin Harvick's 2021 Bush Light Ford Mustang. First impressions of the box design, I love it. I, I really do. You, you remember last year when the box designs usually, I mean, I'll be honest to God on this one, they looked like a back at the barnyard episode. Look at, look at the back of the boxes here. This is sleek, kind of one of those casual commercial looks to it. I like how it's different here and different here. It makes it a really aerodynamic flow. I like that. This looks like the back of a barnyard episode. I, I, it just, it was terrible. I mean, look at the front of the boxes as well. I don't like this. This, this was clunky. This was eh, It was tacky. It was dull and gray. Color is back on the box, fellas. I love to see some creativity in the boxes. So finally, it took them like five years, but it got around to it. So uh, thank you, Lionel Racing, for that. We got another Kevin Harvick diecast here in the box. It is the Mola One Ford Mustang. And my goodness, what a hot looking car right here, man. So uh, reminiscent of the 2003 Good Wrench scheme that he won the beautiful Brickyard 400 with. Such an amazing paint scheme there. And uh, really cool to get that in the box. And, Holy cow, man, it is Ryan Newman's 2021 Oscar Mayer Hot Dogs Ford. And my God, look at that beautiful kind of a seafoam green, or like a pool table top green, I should really say. This is beautiful box designing. This is something that everyone in the freaking business has been harping on. We need color back in the boxes. They took the Roush Fenway green and they put it on the box. And uh, I got to say, Lionel, absolutely fantastic job. Thank you. I love seeing the color. It actually gives the driver, the box, the diecast more personality, and I'm all for it, fellas. Holy cow, man. Let's keep digging here in the box, and let's see what this diecast is here. And in a Holy cow, this is the Jimmy Johnson truck. Oh, my goodness, man. Here is the Brett Moffitt 2020 Plan B Sales uh, Jimmy Johnson tribute truck. This was ran at Phoenix for the championship race, I believe. And, if, you know, all these diecasts here, fellas, I got at Circle B Diecast. Plan B sales, Circle B Diecast, same thing. If you want to get any of these diecasts to do unboxings like this, make sure to use that promo code DIECASTBUFFET. You'll get free shipping on any orders, $20 or more, fellas. Uh, make sure to check it out. Links down below. We got another diecast here. It is William Byron's first ever NASCAR Cup Series win, the Daytona. Uh, Ju or not July, but it was the August race. I have a super funny story to tell whenever I get around to reviewing this car. And I tell you what, you will not believe it, how I was able to actually watch this race and the aftermath of a hurricane. It was actually really crazy. Great story to tell right there on that one uh, whenever we get around to reviewing it. That is awesome. The first win, clearly some damage on that die cast, which is awesome to see. This one shocked me that they were actually producing this so late, but finally we got it. Kyle Busch's 2020 Skittles Toyota Camry. 
Um, I mean, this diecast was so light to the party, you truly could use this as a 2021 with a window banner swap. I mean, fabulous look at paint scheme. Really excited to get this car. Uh, definitely one of those obscure releases that really should have been done a long time ago. Ooh, we got another one! Brand new paint scheme just like the Ryan Newman here. We got to touch on this, fellas. This is a really cool piece here. This is two different drivers from the same team. And look at the box designs. This is how you do it, fellas. Look at this. The blue car gets the blue box. The Ryan Newman car. Granted, it's not orange. It would look cool if it was orange. But personally, I like that Roush Fenway green even better. This is what I like. Two cars from the same team. Two different color boxes. That's how it's done, fellas. No more generic bland box. I mean, look at the difference between the Kyle Busch box here. Look at the Harvick. Look at the Newman. Absolutely night and day difference fellas and it is just it is so cool and check this out man holy freaking cow ryan blaney's 2021 dex imaging ford mustang now this is the first ryan blaney diecast to be produced this car was canceled at the gold series last season we did get it in the authentics line but my goodness, man, look at the red on the boxes. I'll be honest with you. When I seen the red on the boxes on Instagram, um, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, I don't know if it's going to look too good. But now holding these die casts in hand, I, I, I just got to say, fellas, Lionel Racing, thank you so much for changing up the box designs, fellas. I mean, you got the Team Penske box of the red, black, kind of a silver, not a silver, but kind of a shimmery, very steel, modern, a kitchen appliance look, and it looks fantastic, my dude. Love the 2021 boxes, man. Like, those got me freaking hyped. We got another car here, and this one's a really obscure release. Justin Allgaier's Dover win from last year. You remember the Dover uh, doubleheader they had for the Cup Series? I, I think they had a doubleheader for uh, the Xfinity Series as well. But this was a super cool paint scheme that actually got produced. I remember uh, making a video on this. I was telling y'all guys to make sure to go ahead and pre-order these cars because good luck getting some of these 2021s. Um, I made sure I had mine pre-ordered over there at Circle B Diecast, and I got mine uh, guaranteed are ready to come in, but this is a really cool paint scheme. I don't think there's much race wear damage to it, so in all in all honesty, this is kind of a normal paint scheme, which I'm totally okay with. Really cool piece right there. More in the box here. Let's go ahead and uh, check this one out, and <gasps> it is the Jimmy Johnson final paint scheme from Phoenix 2020. My god, look at the freaking silver on this paint scheme, my dude. The day glow numbers, the purple, the pink, modern digital pattern. My god, they knocked this thing out of the park. They used the exact same, um, kind of, or not exact same, but it's practically identical to the 2002 outlining to the 48. With that beautiful silver, my god, man. Look, they could have botched the silver on this paint job, but my goodness, I tell you what, 10 out of 10 paint work here. I cannot wait to review this die cast. That is one hot-looking piece right there. I seen this car in person. Another fabulous silver paint scheme. And in my opinion, this very well could be the greatest Kyle Busch die cast ever made. I'm being honest, fellas. It is the Skittles Zombies paint scheme. Yes, they put the playoff logos on this mumbo jumbo. It's not even the right round that they put the playoff logos in it. There was probably some issues with scheduling it and all that good jazz. But anyways... Silver paint jobs. You have more of a metallic uh, paint job with the Jimmy Johnson. You have more of a, I would say, a sleek, very fine powder grade kind of uh, metallic look uh, to the Kyle Busch Skittles car. I've seen this car race at Texas Motor Speedway. This is not the raced version. If Lionel does not make the raced version 164, I'm going to be producing that uh, down the road. Uh, but my God, man. I love this paint scheme look. I tell you what, if you haven't picked up this car, go get it because it is not going to last long. I, I just, I feel like that's going to be a Kyle Busch car. You're going to be saying five years down the road, you wish you got because some of them obscure paint schemes, they dry up quick. And back to the um, the awesomeness of different box designs. They got a little bit of the uh, protective paper that they, uh, whatever these cars come in a case of 12, they put protective paper on there. That it, It's okay. I got that off the box, but my God, look at this. Kind of like a, a very nice, uh, like a sepia brown, uh, almost kind of like a gold look to the box here. But, I mean, check this out. We have, I, I'm going to zoom in the camera here. You have gold 
green, red, and blue, and I imagine we're going to see a little bit more, like, could you imagine if the Alex Bowman boxes or the Hendrick Motorsports ones have, like, different colors to them as well? Could you imagine if the Bowman box has purple on it? Like, my goodness, man, I absolutely love this. The colored boxes are a slam freaking donk. Alrighty, folks, that is it for today's video. Like I said, fellas, if you want to get any of these die casts, I'm sure some of these are already sold out, so be quick. Go check them out and see if they're in stock. I know the Jimmy Johnson ones are going to sell like hotcakes to Kyle Busch, obviously the 2021s. Go check out Circle B die cast. Use the promo code DieCastBuffet. Any order $20 or more, fellas, you'll get free shipping. My goodness, man. Talk about one epic die cast haul. In total, that's what? Oh my goodness, uh, if I could do math here, that's 12 die casts. 12 freaking brand new die casts here. 2021s are here, fellas. And it keeps getting better. There's another big shipment coming in with a bunch more of the 2021s coming in. More 2020 late releases. I'm so freaking hyped, fellas. Plenty of content right here on the channel. Which one of these die casts y'all want me to review first, fellas? I, I cannot say it enough. That Kyle Busch Zombies car... Get it while you can. It is going to dry up, in my opinion. Get it while you can. It's going to dry up. But uh, my favorite 2021 car so far, hands down, it's probably the Ryan Newman. I got to say, man, the orange on that piece is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get these die cast reviewed. And you can stay tuned every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for a brand new NASCAR die cast video. Uh, every day. So we'll be taking uh, some of these die casts, getting them in the studio, and getting them unboxed. And uh, we'll be doing a detailed review on them, fellas. So uh, good opportunity to hit that notification bell, fellas. I can't wait. I am freaking hyped. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Holy moly, folks. Diecast 2021 are here. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's been only four months late, but it's all good, fellas. Diecast Buffet. Have a great one. Stay humble. God bless. Signing off.